All right, welcome back to Fox and Robin. Today, it's a little bit different video. I'm in a tank top, because it's stupid hot. Uh, AC went out in the house, in the studio here, so there's no AC. So I'm sweating through everything. Anyways, uh, we got a new video today. Uh, but first, we're gonna start off with what is new. So, the new thing for today, or for this week, is one, the camera we're shooting on. We're shooting on a new Canon. EOS R8. We do have our original Canna Canons. Um, Canons off the side here. They were M50s. Um, they're still going to be our B-roll stuff, but main stuff's going to be done with our new Canon. Um, we've got a new kind of look here. As you can see, we've got a different background kind of behind us. Still the console, still the speakers. PMCs are still there. Um, so yeah. Anyways, um, that's uh, kind of the only thing I can think of that is new here in the studio. Um, yeah, we're trying a new mic positioning here, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but today, we're going to get on with the video. Today's video, we're going to talk about our warm drive from our warm audio uh, fellers out there. Um, warm audio has created the warm drive, which is kind of supposed to mimic the Dumble drive or the Dumble amplifiers a little bit. I don't know if it's the same circuit or if it's a different circuit or if I don't know exactly what they're trying to do but I do love how it sounds and um, so first of all I want to show you what the controls are on it first so you kinda got an idea of what you're dealing with if you decide to get one so let's look down here um, so on our uh, warm drive here we have a volume knob and underneath that is the tone knob now, across from the volume knob is the gain knob, and below that is the voice knob, and then we have an LED that lets you know it's on and off. Um, it glows red when it's on, and then it's your standard in and out quarter inch jacks and your 9 volt power supply. Um, highly recommend getting one of these if you can. Um, so first, this is what it would sound like with it off. This is off. This is just the guitar. We, uh, we have tuned up. Not with this thing. This thing is garbage. Um, like the Sharks for certain things, but did not tune my guitar right. So anyways, uh, here's what it sounds like. Just clean, straight out of the guitar. So that's just clean guitar. That's just into the... Basically just straight into our Apollo. Nothing special. No amp sim, nothing. Just the guitar itself. Because I wanted to show you what this thing could do. This thing can do lots of things. So here is what it does um, when you turn it on. So you just heard it off. Now here's with it on. Anyways, that's what it sounds like when you have it on. And it you know, kind of gives you this nice, dirty sound. It does sound like I'm kind of going through a tube amp or something. Um, I could make it a little bit brighter. I can't remember which one on my knobs here. Right now, we'll just go like this. So there, a little brighter if I just change my pickups here. Now, if I go down here and I say, I want to choose, I want to change this here. Um, I'm going to change the voice. I'm going to turn the voicing all the way over here and see what it does. Kind of gives a little bit brighter sound. Um, a little bit different sounding. And it does the same with the tone. Tone makes things brighter. But the voicing, I'm not entirely sure what they're doing. And if somebody knows more, great. Um, send us a comment or a message and let us know exactly what that if you guys at warm are watching too tell us what that voicing knob is exactly doing because i'd really love to know i read the manual a little bit and it didn't really the manual i got with it wasn't very uh descriptive on what it did it just kind of told you yeah it's a voicing knob you know makes it brighter kind of does what i just showed you so um kind of that in a nutshell is this pedal and i love this <laughs> I do love this pedal very much. I have the overdrive just way too much still. It's you can make it sound nasty and dirty, or you can just give it a light crash. Just 
like a little light crunch in areas, but um, we basically are going to use it with our pedal board and our existing warm audio pedals, where we are going to basically um, pair it with uh, the Centavo and then the, uh, what's the next one we're pairing it with? Uh, the Foxy Tone Box. I had to go over and look. And then the warm drive. And we're going to turn them all on and do a video on how that works and how it sounds and if it's even a good idea. So watch out for that video. But in case you were wondering, we are using our Riviera here. So um, from Epiphone. Love this guitar. This is not a remake, by the way. If you're curious, um, check out our video on this guitar. We did one kind of on the overview and how it sounds and its fun features. So... Um, what else can I say about this pedal? This pedal is fantastic. I honestly think you could throw it in a box with your guitar in a bag, you know, in the case or whatever. Get on a bus or go to a friend's house, whatever. Play a gig, play with some friends, you know, play on a street corner or whatever without an amplifier. Just straight into like a PA or something and get pretty close sounding, you know, amp tones and crunch and stuff. You know, maybe pair it with a delay and an over, you know, some delay and reverb or something. And you could have pretty much a whole pedal board right there set up and be able to do anything that I could think of with it. You know, blues, you could do blues with it. You could do some really heavy metal stuff with it, even if you kind of really, you got to tweak it to get those tones. But you could do pretty much blues, rock, indie stuff, you know, country with it, and it would sound great. Um, I love the stuff that Warm makes. I've got a bunch of their microphones. I got a bunch of their pedals. I got a bunch of their rack gear. You know, they just make great stuff, and they continue to do so. Um, I have not found a piece of gear that I did not like from them, or wasn't like, I should need to return this. Nothing has ever happened like that with with them. So um, I know it's a little cliched to wear a Fender hat and play an Epiphone, but eh, who cares? So anyways, um, if you like these videos, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and hit the bell. The bell will give you notifications when we drop new videos and content. We're trying to put out more, but as summer comes along and more outdoor shows happen and more recording sessions happen inside because it's hot, you know, more of that kind of stuff that happens, the less time we have to do these videos. But, like I said, it's hot, AC's out, we're in a tank top. Um, feel free to watch your videos. We're appreciative to those who have watched our videos. So, you know what? Hit that like and subscribe bell, like I said, and, you know, watch more of our content. And if you get a chance, go to Warm and get this pedal. I highly recommend. I give it two thumbs up. I highly recommend the Warm Drive from Warm Audio. Probably one of the best pedals I've played through in a long time, other than the other stuff that Warm makes. But for what it does and what it is, it's by far it's it's better than any cheap thing and it's not that expensive you can go buy cheaper things that don't sound as good as this um i think i paid i can't remember what i paid on 120 maybe 120 bucks for it it's really not that bad there's pedals out there that are thousands of dollars or more um i may have paid less i can't remember exactly how much i paid um if i find out i'll post it down in the comments or the description but um Thanks for watching, and you know what? Go play some music, and we'll see you next time.